What is up YouTube? It's your boy Robski coming with another video on 1-26-2020. Um, this is, a, I did a video earlier today, but an event happened that I need to talk about and I think it's very significant for everyone here and my take on it. Well, my take on it doesn't necessarily matter, but <clears throat> let me get into it anyways. This video is called The Death of Kobe Bryant and why you should be concerned, why, why it affects you, okay? Kobe, Kobe Benjamin Bean Bryant was born, I believe, he was in the 70s, 78, 77, something like that. Um, and he is definitely one of the best basketball players of our generation and of all time. Okay, Kobe Bryant was basically the second coming of Michael Jordan. That's really the only other player you can compare him to, even though I don't think it's good to compare anybody to anybody. But... Uh, Kobe had similar mindset, similar body, similar movement patterns. Um, like I said, the only one you compared to Michael Jordan was Kobe Bryant. Guy was one of the toughest competitors on, on and off the court. Uh, had many business deals, influenced many people, and uh, uh, many lives. Okay. Now, with this guy, there was also some controversy as well, which is kind of an irrelevant point now. Look, guys, um, the reason why I'm trying to bring this up, this guy's basically a superhuman, okay? He had one of the best measurables. Um, the guy had so many things going for him with the money, the championships. I mean, this guy, you know, I had a, I did a uh, video about the demigods, and uh, basically the demigods are another word for celebrity, okay? These people seem like they're invincible, and today is just yet another example that they're not, okay? Now, um, and I, I did, I prayed for the passing of Kobe Bryant. Um, when he passed, I, I did say a prayer, hopefully that the uh, good Lord above is, um, you know, kind and forgiving and merciful, whatever, I don't know. But this shows it doesn't matter if you're an NBA Hall of Famer or some hobo on the street we're all dead men and women from the time that we get up to the time that we die we're vulnerable and he died just like that and it's all over now the guy did leave a legacy um you know he's like i said he's a celebrity he's a big time celebrity influenced a lot of people's lives in the sports world outside and outside the sports world but at the end of the day, he's a dead man. And um, this is where my faith is coming in. <clears throat> and this is why, um, you know, I've, I've done some good things as far as this New Year's. Um, you know, me getting sober has nothing to do with my faith. But it's all about Jesus. And I'm going to say that till the day I die. Um. Because look at look at your demigod. He's he's a dead man, just like every one of us, just like you and me, in the ground. And whatever he did, personally, like I said, he gets to leave a legacy, and um, you know that's all good and done. But he's in a different realm right now. Okay, whatever happens on the other side, what he did on Earth is now irrelevant. With his future is concerned. And like I said, I'm claiming that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. I'll say that till the day I die, but I don't know. I mean, I, I can't prove it. I just, I'm just claiming that. I'm claiming my faith. <clears throat> In this world, guys, everything that you do, whether you graduate high school, whether you graduate college, whether you drop out of college, whether you get somebody pregnant, whether you, you know, do drugs, whether all this, all this stuff is just so irrelevant compared to human, like a life. Like I look now, like all the tests I flunk, it's just irrelevant. So getting back to Kobe, you know, one thing I do want to bring up here. And this is why it's important not to worship false idols, including yourself. 
Notice how there's two key players that, that died. Okay, one was Kobe Bryant. And the other, there, there's there's two there's two Hall of Fame basketball players that um, retired, and they had two they were two polar opposite opposite personalities, and one player had a going away party, basically a idol worshiping worship me, and the other player did not. One player is a dead man. The other player is still alive. Can you guess who I'm comparing it to? One man, his name's Kobe Bryant. The other man's name's Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's the superstar that's still alive. Now, again, Tim Duncan is not perfect. I'm just saying that it's kind of, uh, it's kind of ironic that this is how it ends guys first of all and and here's another the big tragedy is other there's nine other souls on that flight including his daughter who who's only 13 which is that that's an absolute tragedy with, with the genetics that she has with the potential to to be a mother for human life now that's a that's a bigger tragedy than kobe bryant dying is his daughter dying his daughter's dying is a bigger tragedy than him dying. Okay, I mean he had, I mean he had his time, and again, I'm not ripping on Kobe Bryant. I mean the, the man did a lot of good, you know, and he had, a, I mean a career that that the average person could just only have dreams of. But again, this goes into because there, there's been a lot of death in my life. As far as relatives and friends, I, I know a lot of people that didn't even make it to 30. And I, I'm here and I'm still alive. And I, I'm just looking around. I'm like, you know, just thank you. Thank you for another day, Lord. Thank you for another day or another opportunity. It's also important, though, because you, you need to understand, you know, with our celebrity culture, it's okay to admire somebody. It's okay to fall in love with somebody, somebody's work. But you need to understand the difference between admiring, um, celebrating versus actual worship. And at the end of the day, all these people, Kobe Bryant, Carly Kloss, Taylor Swift, um, Elton John, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, they're all humans as much as we want to make them out to be something they're not. They're all humans. And we're all sharing this world together. And at the end of the day, there is one thing that we as human beings are equal of. We are all equally dead. And that is a hundred percent fact. We are all equally dead. We don't know what time. We don't know what age. But that's something that believers, doesn't matter what religion, doesn't matter you're atheist, we're all dead beings. We don't live forever. So, but again, I mean, me personally, this is just, um, it's just like, I'm, I'm more faithful now because if somebody like that can be taken out, I mean, you know, I've been around some pretty badass people. I've been in the military. I've met SEALs. I've met army Rangers and all these people had problems. And at the end of the day, all these people that accomplish this stuff doesn't mean squat if you don't have faith because they're still all dead. We just don't get to control how we die. <clears throat> Kobe, 
How has Mr. Kobe Bryant influenced my life? Well, he's influenced me to, to, to be more aggressive with things and be more professional. Cause that's regardless of, you know, how are you retired or whatever, if you liked him, he was a professional and he was very, very good at he, what he did. Again, I didn't want to, you know, that previous comment, you know, with him versus Tim Duncan, I, I'm not taking any way. I never took any way from that man. I mean, I've always admired Kobe, Kobe Bryant for what he could do. And I always admired his mentality of, you know, um, that kind of killer assassin, you know, sniper, um, tough guy. I've always admired that. But again, I mean, you know, Kobe is definitely an anti-hero. Okay, he's not a villain. He's he's kind of a he's kind of an anti-hero. He's he's a guy who was great at what he did and he got results, but at the same time, you know, he was he was selfish and he like I said, I think he did a little bit of um I mean people worshipped him and I think that got to him. And uh again, now he's dead. So all you like people in the media and all you like, you know, progressive, you know, let's just, uh, you know, let's just worship these celebrities. They're dead just like us. Doesn't matter how many mansions they have. Doesn't matter how many zeros in the bank account. They're all dead. Just like a bum on the street. Just like your local janitor. So I guess the moral of this victory, this video, and I've said this, you know, I've been Andy Collins. He was an athlete that I actually personally knew that died 27 running on a treadmill. You know, Benjamin Kemery was one of my, he was my first roommate at the University of Idaho. He died at 26, banged his head on a uh, concrete. Mark Swanick was a fellow firefighter of mine. And Kobe Bryant is an NBA legend. And all these people have something in common. They're all dead. So, that's why it's important to honor the dead. Don't worship the dead. We worship Jesus. But it's okay to honor the dead. And it's okay to let the dead know that you have not forgotten and they are not forsaken for what they left on this planet. This is Robski out.